Hello everybody on YouTube. I am doing this vehicle on this video on autopilot. Okay, so I'm not doing the video on autopilot. You can tell by the uh, trees not moving in the background there. Um, anyways, this is definitely a Star Wars video. And I was listening to the Urban Acolyte. Um, I think it was uh, something that was posted this morning at some point. Um, when he was talking about the, um, uh, the theory about Kylo Ren seeing Rey in a Force vision uh, sometime in his past. And that would explain how he, uh, you know, his reactions throughout the movie. And it's definitely a possibility because Force users can, um, uh, Force users, the more they dip into the Force, you know, the more they use the Force, the more uh, of a chance they're going to get uh, getting Force vision. So it's definitely possible that Kylo Ren, maybe Ben at the time, who knows? You know, maybe you know, maybe it was before with Kylo Ren. But anyways, um, that's not what this video is about, but what Prince was saying about, because uh, I guess he, he said there was a article somewhere talking about um, the, uh, in canon, the satellite Jedi temples going to play a lot more, um, a lot more uh, bigger role in the Star Wars canon. And I have a theory on how this could be. And I can't wait for, you know, to see if I'm right as I watch all the uh, Star Wars stuff. You know, the Rebels, the uh, 8. I don't know if they're going to show this in, um, I don't know if they're going to show this in, um, what do you call it? Uh, the movie that's coming out this year, 2016. Uh shoot I can't think of the word anyways I can't think of the movie anyways and all the all the other books but anyways here's my theory that the uh, Jedi temples each Jedi temple is a node of force energy and that's why the Jedi built the temples in these areas to help increase the um, the uh, the force Know, to increase the uh, flow of the force and who knows maybe that's what Luke discovered at the first Jedi temple you know and who knows the first Jedi temple you know that could be like the main the main node the capstone the capstone node you know that'll go out through all the other all the other ones um, I mean we know in Rebels that Yoda um, contacted the uh, the Jedi trilogy Ezra Kanan and Ahsoka uh, while they were in uh, meditation in a Jedi temple and um, he even sent them to the, uh, the that other temple that was um, polluted by the dark side you know who knows maybe that's gonna play a role, you know, maybe that's what, that's what, that was, um, trying to happen. You know, maybe they were trying to, the, uh, the Sith, maybe were trying to control the Force energy, or who knows, maybe they figured if they destroyed that temple there, it would, like, maybe destroy the Force, who knows. But, the idea of being nodes is not a uh, old idea, because... We have this idea in a lot of the Star Wars mythology, you know, it comes from our mythology. And a big part of our mythology is the Egyptian pyramids, uh, the Mayan pyramids, and um, ley lines, and all that stuff that we have here on Earth. So, who knows, you know, um, you know, the whole Star Wars was um, created... Um, George Lucas wanted to create a whole new myth, you know, or maybe maybe redefining the myths, uh, redefining them for a new age, you know.
because it's when we it's when we have the stories you know that's how people learn you know humans learn through story that's why movies are so popular that's why people uh, like vids uh, people doing videos um, talking about their their themselves their stories because people like stories and humans learn by stories <clears throat> so in a sense the internet is like a, a myth in itself so it's it's nothing new that you know uh, it's not a new idea of the Jedi temples being nodes of force energy you know because you also you also got to think about you know because Star Wars is fantasy and in every fantasy there's a magic system the force in Star Wars is a magic system it's got rules and so you know they could be playing more upon that idea as well you know mixing our reality, our reality with the other, you know, with uh, virtual reality, as what's kind of happening now with uh, Pokemon Go. You know, um, I've heard that seems to have dominated <laughs> the uh, the uh, news feeds uh, for this whole week, <clears throat> both good and bad stuff from it. Um, I've got notes here, as you can tell, I'm reading. Yeah, so I guess the last idea I had is like maybe these force force nodes and the Jedi temples. Okay, maybe they help create or awaken force sensitives. You know, maybe that's what the title of episode seven is really about. You know, the force awakens. You know, maybe it's you know the you know the the force within these Jedi temples awakening. You know, and maybe that's why Luke was on the uh, at the first Jedi temple because he was trying to you know, awaken um, a new, you know, new force sensitive people. So um, those are just kind of like my ideas on that, and uh, I love all the people who are are doing the uh, Star Wars uh, Star Wars series and stuff like that Prince the Urban Acolyte you know it's like uh, you know if it weren't for people doing that on it because there's a lot of other people too there's uh, a lot of uh, other people that delving into the uh, mythos of Star Wars you know there's a lot of Star Wars you just do like uh, a search on YouTube for Star Wars and you'll come up with a lot of these people so anyways um, and thank you to all those people, including Prince over at the uh, Urban Acolyte channel. Um, and uh, thank you.